Good morning, it's Friday. Now, the other day, I talked to you a bit about wrapping cloths. It's in the video that I posted. I can't remember what day it was, but I'll put a link to it on the bottom of this email in the blurb, um, just so you'll see what I'm talking about. So I was talking about unfinished wrapping cloths. Um, so today I'm making a piece for this one. So what I tend to do, I don't know what I always do, where is it? I don't really measure my pieces until I get to this stage when I need to square it off because it's big enough, okay? So I've measured this area. Now, it's not that area, where is it? Here, sorry. Um, I measured the space here. Okay, this space. Uh, can you see all oh, Let me just see. Da, da, da. Right. Now the weight of it can drag it as well, so it can be quite difficult to control. I would probably have had it further on the table, so the table bore the weight of it um, if I wasn't making a video. But I need to have it where you can see it. So I measured it and I cut a piece of fabric and I've put some stuff on the surface. It's only pinned. This will need to be embroidered. Now if you go back to the last video, if you want to watch it, it explains about this piece. But I'll just briefly tell you, this piece is anything but cohesive. I found a box of samples and I decided to just join them all together into a wrapping cloth, okay? It's only for me, it doesn't matter that nothing matches and there's this colour there and another colour, it doesn't matter. So, in fact, the more wrong it is, the better, I think, now Now that it's in this at this stage. Um, so, I measured this piece and what this is going to go under here, okay? So, it's going to go, and it's going to go under here because I want this lacy edge to be free on top of it so it's going to go like that okay that, it'll all be hemmed and straightened don't worry about that i mean i think sometimes people when i've done classes people look at these and they think oh my goodness how the heck is she gonna sort that out um but don't worry i always do i always do and normally as well because the weight of it's pulling it down normally i would uh had my set square with me. See, that's moved out of there again. Oh, come on, Karen. Um, I think I'm going to have to move. And by the way, I've got a, a subscription learning thing going on, if you want to have a look. Um, it's only £5 a month. Cheap at half the price. Um, I'm joking. But have a look, because I, I say so much more in that environment. You know what I mean? Um, so, that's it. I think that's it. So in terms of my set square, which I haven't got, I would normally have it to square it, to check it. But it's quite difficult anyway, because of this is this is uneven, it's not square. But I think by eye that looks fine. So I need to pin it, but then I've also got something going on for one of the seams that I'll show you about. Now when I come to stitch this down, I'll decoratively stitch along there. And so it'll attach this underneath. I'm not going to put this in until I've finished embellishing the surface. So I'm just, for the purposes of this video, I'm just pinning it all. Um, then I'll take it off and I'll embellish this before I permanently attach it. But I've got something for the seam that I wanted to show you. So. Now also, you might think it looks a bit sparse as well. I've got a run of fluffy stuff. That's the technical name for it. Fluffy stuff. Um, this all has to be tucked in. When it comes to putting it together, this will all have to be tucked in nicely. Okay. Um, I've got ribbon and lace and the grandmother's flower garden patchwork motif there, but it's quite possible that I'll do all the stuff as well, like bring some applique in somewhere or something. Okay. Um, so for this seam over here, I've made a little pocket. It's here. So I'm going to put a pocket in this seam. So that's going to go there. And that will be... And this edge is just pink and sheared. Okay, this one. I won't be turning it over and hemming it. I'll be attaching this pocket in there. 
I'm, I'm really I'm a sucker for pockets. I love pockets. Personal secrets. And it'll be pinned on down there as well when that's embellished and stitched down. And then when I do this seam, because it's only pink and sheared, I would probably cover it with French knots, apart from the bit where that is. Um, so there, in there, can you see that little pocket in there? Yeah. Now I didn't measure it, I just cut it. I do a lot of things by eye, but the pocket measures uh, uh, four inches in the depth, four inch width, four inch depth. So, now how I made that pocket, you might think, I don't need to know that, I'm not stupid. But just for those of you who might not know, uh, just to strip a fabric that's going to fit into your area, put it right sides together, turn it over at the top, on both edges, like that. Okay. And then just straight stitch it on your machine, down two sides. Okay, so that's how I made that. Um, and so that will go in there when I eventually come to put this in here when that is embellished okay um so i did promise in the other video i think that um i'd keep you informed about the progress of these so yeah so happy friday have a really nice weekend